explain. I know, I know you can. You're a very, very gifted storyteller. That's it. Dude, would you just tell her, just tell her the truth. Like, just tell her the truth. Just cut his dick off. That's what I would have done. Shit, if you I was Norma. <laughs> Are you ready? What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more Lost Season 3 Episode 6 last episode was a doozy we lost echo it was something to behold i'm still in a little bit of denial um because i felt like echo was going to be a long-standing character in the show um it just felt like that um for me so i'm in denial of course because i want to be <laughs> Because at the end of the day, I can't do anything about it. They killed the character. <laughs> can't do anything about it. Right. Um, it just felt a little different um, for me. It's a sad moment, man, to see Echo go down like that. But, bro, we need to find out what this this smoke, this black smoke thing that's going around, man. Um, we need to find out what that is and take care of it. Like, we can't just, you know, this thing can show up at any time just... But for some reason, sometimes it, it, it attacks and sometimes it doesn't. So I'm wondering if it's because, you know, I'm wondering if, it, if it's because he didn't do what his brother or whatever that thing is that was talking to him, told him to do. And that's why he was attacked. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's so weird. It's so weird what's going on on this island, man. But anyways, we're going to jump into episode six here of season three. If you guys want to see more episodes, you want to watch ahead. By the time you guys are seeing this on YouTube, I promise you we should be done with the series. So if you want to just watch ahead, don't want to wait until I get these episodes up on YouTube. That's a good way to go ahead and have early access. Check out the Patreon membership on the old channel, man. Links are down in the description. Let's jump into the reaction and I will see you guys right after for the review. Whose backstory it is today? Slowly, cause you don't. Yes, it is. Come on, let's go. Police, open the door. Ma'am, we have reason to believe someone extremely dangerous is in the motel. We're conducting a room to room search. I'm alone, officer. This person could be holding you at gunpoint, forcing you to say that. Hey. Wanna get it on? <laughs> the hell <laughs> this is the guy from um the rookie if you guys have never seen the rookie it's a decent show why is he always playing a cop how old are the x-rays weak the tumor on your spine is borderline inoperable the or we were in is that fully equipped yes you need to be in surgery yesterday Whatever you need, it's yours. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you misunderstood me. I just wanted you to understand how you're gonna die. <laughs> you think I believe you people? That I'm gonna just do the surgery and hope that you let me go. Jack! Don't! Don't! Well, Jack, I'm very disappointed in your decision. At least you won't have to be disappointed for very long. Ouch. Jack went. Man, is that you? It's bad luck to see the bride in her dress before the wedding. You, my friend, are naked. 
I'm waiting till the absolute last minute. It's in about 12 hours. You might want to get close. You wanted to get ready 12 hours before the wedding? <laughs> hey. I know it's real. I love you, Monica. Monica. Oh, so she's still out here playing games. What about him? He's got the day off. Well, if he's not working, neither am I. Oh, you're not, huh? No, Sawyer. We're a team. You break the rocks, I haul them. Lord knows I wouldn't want to break up the team. So what killed Echo? Folks back at the beach call it the monster. You don't believe in monsters. I believe in what I can see. But obviously you have. Don't you tell me what you think it is. Might be what brought us here. So you believe that this monster decided that Echo was meant to die? I believe Echo died for a reason. That's why you lied. We're not headed back towards the camp, are we, John? Sure we are. Just need to take a little detour first. Compound. Where is she? Compound. Someone's on the grid. I want him on the ground, her too. If he moves, you shoot him. He no? How the hell did she get over here? Oh. Get up. Come on, get up. Go. Ellie. Ellie. What the hell do you think you're doing? What, you gonna shoot me? You know you're not supposed to be here. So let's just call. What did you down. do to him, Danny? Where is he? Get off of me. Get her out of here. Get her out of here. Put me down. Listen, whatever they say, don't believe them. I wonder why she's so special. Why do they treat her differently than everybody else? I would like for you to put this on and come with me, please. You think I'm going to put a hood over my head because you said please? No, Kate, I think you're going to put a hood over your head because the man standing behind me, that man is going to kill Sawyer. But if you put this on and you come with me, there's something you can do for us that will save his life. That's what you get. That being said, <laughs> this man has been conned, bro. I now pronounce you husband <laughs> and wife. Kate is like, she has so many secrets. It's so funny, ain't it? Because Jack and Kate, it's the same thing from the Titanic. Jack and Kate. <laughs> hey. You okay? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm great. She's trying to get on Where Jack's good you? side. Did they hurt you? You have to do it. What? This thing that they told you to do, this operation. How did they get you to ask me? Jack, what did they please, offer you? Nothing. Then what are you doing here? They're going to kill Sawyer. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but she said that if you do it, and if you do it soon, they'll let us go. Incredible, incredible, incredible. Jack. Jeez, man. Agent Mars. It's me. On a holy day, has it come and gone since you last called? I thought you and I were friends. I don't want to run anymore. What's his name? Please, I love this guy. Just let me go. I'll tell you what. You can really stay put. You really settle down. And I'll stop chasing you. But you and I both know that's not going to happen. Sawyer. You really care about him, huh? I'm sorry you weren't able to help us, Kate. Move it forward. You got anything you want to say to your girl? You best say it tonight. When the hatch exploded, your prayer stick fell out of a tree right on top of me. 
Rest in peace, Mr. Echo. Up your eyes and look north. He's sick. And they say that if he does it, they're gonna let us all go. And you and me are what? Bait? Something like that. Why the hell would you do something so stupid? To save your life! My life don't need saving. You wanna die? Cause that's what's gonna happen. Damn it, Freckles, stay put. And you know what he's gonna do. So don't pretend like you don't care. <laughs> Why don't they fix that? They still don't know that you they're being Jack watched. You your life, then you're gonna save your own. We're getting out of here now. Why don't you run, Kate? Cause me, I ain't running. Cause there ain't no place to go. They're on a different we island. Ain't on our island. We're on another island, like an Alcatraz, a couple miles offshore. There ain't no point. When were you planning on telling me this? Because I love you. Because I wanted you to believe that we had a damn chance. Gentleman is the most confused person in the entire show. I swear to God, she don't know who she wants to be with, bro. So we just go, we out in the open, lady. We can kindly, <laughs> I guess we can say she's chosen. I don't understand how. How is it that this is happening right now? And <laughs> nobody is coming out. Very nice. <laughs> Okay. I'm officially okay. off the Jack and Kate tra train. Now. Come to your place, man. It's the it's the Kate and Soya oh, train. You Just look. You are holding in your hand two tickets to Costa Rica. So get your passport ready, baby. Nothing. I just love you so much. I want to know where the hell in Miami this is. There ain't no house in Miami look like this. Who is this? Hello? Did she let him out? This doesn't make no damn sense. Who let her, who let him out? What happened? Oh, he's gonna see them together. Yep. Don't worry about it, Jack. I know you cared about her. But she made her choice. If I were a betting man, I would have picked her and you. Shut up. Tomorrow. Sorry. Tomorrow morning. First thing. I'll get it out. Your tumor. And I'll keep you alive. But I need your word. I need what you promised me before. I need to get the hell off this island. Yeah, I, can, like, I need to get off, no. bro. People keep betraying me and shit. Uh, you, you know what the funny thing about it is? She's going to still play this off as if she's like... Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, the thing about it is like... Oh, you guys know how I would, like, stinks. I wanted, you know what I'm saying, just like how even Benny saying, like, if I was a betting man, I would think that it would have been those two. But, unfortunately, this is where it is. You guys have heard me say multiple times in the show that I don't know which way Kate leans, which one is this weird triangle that's going on. But also, I've always I've always said that I would like to see Jack and Kate together. Even when Anna came into the into the picture, I was like, hey, I should be off of her because she can't make up her mind who she wants to who she wants to be with. And it's obvious that Jack really, really does care about her. But, you know, as in as it's always been, Jack always gets 
the the dregs, you know what I'm saying? All in all, I mean, Soya and Kate deserve each other. They try so hard to make me feel sorry for Kate. Oh. I never do. What if I told you I was on the run for blowing up my father and it was only a matter of time before you found out? This isn't fun. It's not a joke. I can't do this. Taco night? I don't do taco okay, night. Okay, calm down, Monica. My name's not Monica. I love you. But I can't stay. Stay. Something's wrong. He with drugged you. him? I mean, she it drugged was? him. I had to. Otherwise, they would think you knew. I swear to God, Kate is the biggest piece of shit in this show. At least Sawyer does good things every now and then. This woman is terrible. She's a terrible individual, man. And they try so hard in these flashbacks. Now, let's separate the Kate in the past from the Kate on the island. The Kate on the island is, is, is a lot more likable than the Kate in the past. The Kate in the past is just an absolutely horrible person. Like, the everything she does, and then they try so hard to make you feel sorry for her in the moments that's that, I guess you're a fugitive, and I guess you had to kill your daddy because he was beating on your mom. You know what I'm saying? It's just crazy to me how hard they try to make you feel bad for Kate, but I can't feel bad for her. She makes, why are you trying? You should have, you should have turned this down in the first place because you knew this is where it was, was going to end up. You should have never wrote this guy in. Out of every man in the world, you choose to, you choose to fall in love with a cop and you're a fugitive. How dumb can you be? And then now you drug the cop, right? So that's another offense you can put on your record, right? That's another offense, right? These people are treating you so nice and stuff like that. Like, it's insane. The marshal knows her so much, knows her. The marshal is, is like, but we all know that's not going to happen, right? Because you... You know, it's like if you promise to just settle down, you know, and, and, you know, whatever, whatever, you know, I'll stop chasing you. But we all know that's not going to happen, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He knows her. This is insane. She's a horrible person, dude. You going to keep it or you going to leave it? Listen, I'm not saying that Kate, she didn't love any of these people. I'm just saying the choices she makes, man, it's just, ugh. You get nervous? Before you do surgery? I used to. Not anymore, no. Whatever happens, everything would be very different, won't it? Did Alex ask about me? No. We just got home last night. I don't know where she is now. I'm ready. I need you to count down from 20. All right, boys, we going in. Mm, to Ben. Let's go. Ben just put his life in the hands of one of them. Shepard wasn't even on Jacob's list. Sawyer. Well, well, Sawyer. well, look at you got out of her cage. You should have run when you had the chance. Step away. A little too squeamish. I don't. It's it's weird. I have this this thing. This, you know what I mean? I have this thing where I'm Swabbing squeamish, it. but then if if I'm like in the room with it, I'm not. It's it's weird. People who have like bad injuries or something like that coming through, they passing through, whatever. And I never. Is he okay? His blood pressure's dropping. I mean, dropping, I should say. Should he be bleeding up. like that? Nope. No, he shouldn't. Ooh. I 
away from the table! Now! Can you hear me in there? Yeah. Good. Now, if I don't stitch that back up in the next hour, he's dead. Chat now going get in rogue. here and bring that walkie-talkie. Stop away! Now, let go! Don't you let go! I want you to watch. Stand up. Close your eyes. This is for Colleen. You son of a bitch. Jack is the one that's Danny, gonna. There? Yeah. Pick it up. Pick it up, Danny. Pick it up, damn it. Yeah, you can say that. Give your walkie to Kate. Why the hell would I do that? Because if you don't, the doctor's gonna let Ben die. What are you talking about? What's that beeping? Just hand her the damn walkie, Danny. Hey, you have about an hour head start before they come after you. Do you remember what I told you on the beach? The day of the crash. Do you remember what story I told you when you were stitching me up? Do you remember it? Yes, yes, I remember. When you get safe, you radio me and you tell me that story. If I don't get a call from you in the next hour, I'm going to know something went wrong and he dies. Yes, you are. Go. Yes, I can. Go now. I can. Hey, damn it, run! This shit is getting intense, man. Jesus Christ, I can't, I can't take it anymore. <laughs> I can't take it, man. This shit is getting too intense, dude. Why is this show so anxiety, anxiety inducing? <laughs> I don't know. Hey, yo, man, I wish I had the time to watch more episodes today. I wish I did. Man, what an episode of TV, man. What can I say? <laughs> what can I say, man? This episode was a roller coaster indeed. Um, It's... All right, so Jack... Didn't want to do it at first. Didn't want to do the surgery. Of course, he turned it down. Um, of course, even after the fact, he's still trying to save Kate. Even though after what he sees. Because Jack is just... he He's he's that type of person. Right? Now, you know what I'm saying? She's saying that she can't leave. Maybe it's because, you know, Sawyer's at gunpoint right now. Maybe that's the reason. Who knows? This lady's feelings are all over the place. You know what I mean? Um, so, you know, she doesn't want to leave because maybe she thinks that, you know, Sawyer is going to get hurt if she does. Um, you know, so she probably end up not leaving. That's what I'm thinking, that she's not going to to leave. And it's going to put Jack in a very bad position because he's doing this to save her. That's why he's doing this. He's doing this so she can escape because he still cares about her. You know what I'm saying? This is the kind of stuff that let nice guys become savages, man. But Jack is holding on. He's holding on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's holding on, man. I respect it. You know what I'm saying? Because um, he he's not trying to say let Sawyer go as well. He's saying just Kate, which is telling right it's very telling because he's not saying you and sawyer need to get out of here you know what i'm saying he's saying you alone need to get out of here so he's trying to save kate um you know what i'm saying uh, even though you know he knows that both of them did the do you know what i mean they did the do <laughs> right so this episode was very very intense episode because nobody they, they really let Jack hold him literally with nothing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? With nothing is just like, oh, why do they have this attachment to Ben so much? Or why is it just like if Ben dies, what's a big deal? You know what I'm saying? So there's that question as well. Where as in I'm looking at it from this point of view, is is like if Ben dies, what's the big deal? Like you have other people. You know what I'm saying? Like at this point, you uh, you would think that they would 
you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not talking about like just being loyal. It seems like it goes beyond ju them just being loyal. It just doesn't feel, it doesn't feel like, it feels like in some ways they like worship this dude. Like he's the key to something and they can't afford to lose him. You know what I'm saying? So they're going very far because he's, he's, I mean, he's not like all of them daddy or some shit like that is, you know what I'm saying? Um, I don't think if it was other people there on the table, you could say it that, you know, they, they're a family, blah, blah, blah. So they care about each other that way. But I don't think it would be the same if certain people was on that table. I think it's just because of Ben. So that's just my, my stance on that. But for Jack to do this is, it's a little bit out of character, but also within his character as well. You know what I'm saying? Um, to get that done. Um, so this is going to be interesting. Hopefully they stay on what's happening here for the next episode and they don't go back to the, to the beach or whatever. Like I want to know what happens. So next time I sit down to watch lost, uh, maybe, I don't know. I might be watching some more episodes tomorrow. Um, I don't know yet. Um, it's just that if I didn't have to stream tonight, I would definitely do it, but I have to stream tonight. So either way, um, incredible episode. I'm here. I'm anxious as I'm like, what's going to happen? Is Kate going to leave? Is she not going to leave? If she, if she stays, I mean, their dude was about to clip, clip Sawyer. You know what I'm saying? He was about to clip Sawyer for real, for real in the rain and everything. This man was, was ready. I was like, but Sawyer had nothing to do with killing Colleen. So I get it. You're mad. You want to take out, you know, eye for an eye, take out one of them. They take out one of yours, but you know what I'm saying? And I guess because, you know, he, him and Kate is all lovey dovey and he doesn't have that anymore. He wants to, to change that. So I don't know how this is going to play out. Hopefully, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> Hopefully it does play out. In, I don't think it's going to play out in our favor, but I don't think, I don't think Jack is going to let Ben die. I think Ben is going to survive this, um, you know, and this threat of whatever, because also we got to remember that Juliet wants Ben to die. So maybe she's just, you know, laying back and be like, are we going to, you know what I'm saying? Are we going to wait? until he dies or <laughs> you know what I'm saying? but we'll see how everything plays out anyways guys thank you guys so much for tuning in man this has been an incredible incredible show man definitely in my opinion um since season three started i i do think that loss as a as a stronger narrative i think it's kind of unfair to be honest to compare this to prison break um I, I think it's kind of unfair. I'm going to stop doing that because I think it's kind of unfair to compare Lost to Prison Break because they don't exist in the same realm. You know what I'm saying? They don't, it's not the same type of show. You know what I mean? Um, for Prison Break, I would say you felt a little bit more boxed in by what they could do versus what they couldn't do. But there's things that they could have done that they didn't explore in Prison Break. Um, but also, it, but for this show, they have set themselves up so good to spread their wings a lot when it comes on to the narrative. So it just, I, I think it's, you know, written in a different way. So it's kind of unfair to compare it to Prison Break. Prison Break is just great on its own. But if I have Prison Break in my top 10, there's no way, depending, let me not say there's no way, depending on how this show ends, and how they reveal stuff going forward. I mean, after this season, we're going to have three more to watch. So depending on how they end the show will determine if this. If it if it has a decent ending. It will be my top 10. You know what I'm saying? Because I have prison break in my top 10 and it might take prison break spot because prison break is sitting at number 10. It might just take prison break spot because i'm just saying <laughs> i'm just saying but good stuff good stuff man loss is definitely 
it's blowing my mind that this that this is what tv used to be like prison break lost house you know what i'm saying 24. it blows my mind when you look at tv today and you can't you can hardly find a good show to watch on network tv you, it's hard to find back in the day these used to be everywhere you look on every channel abc fox cbs nbc those channels had the bangers bro like crazy amount of good shows used to come out back in the day now that nowadays you can hardly find one or two that are really good um you know that just really have great writing it's like the quality of writing these shows has gone down and i think that's due to also because of you know the type of you know everybody trying to be politically correct and stuff like that so they're afraid to take risk on writing certain things not George R. R. Martin though. <laughs> that man don't care about nobody. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That man is like, if you want you wanna see, you know what I'm saying, House of the Dragon. <laughs> that man is like, listen man, this is what it is. And they did change some stuff from the book though, so you know. But it was still, you know, it was there. A lot of stuff for the woke people to get upset at um but it is what it is anyways guys thank you guys so much i appreciate y'all man leave a like leave a comment i will catch you guys next time for some more loss man i'm out peace